and welcome to another episode of To Read or Not To Read. We all know about cozy mysteries. They usually involve some type of cooking, some type of baking, maybe a craft like quilting or cross stitch, knitting, crocheting, crossword puzzles. But in the last couple years, the genre has really expanded. So whatever your niche is, there's guaranteed to be a book for you. Let me explain. I'm gonna highlight three titles that are maybe not so normal cozy mystery themes. So the first one that I wanna talk about is Louisiana Longshot by Jana DeLeon. And this one is really interesting. It takes place in a small town called Sinful, Louisiana. And the reason I am showing you on here is because we do have it available on Overdrive and on Libby. It involves a CIA assassin who has a price out on her head. And so, so she has to hide out as a former beauty queen turned librarian in sinful Louisiana. This town is actually run by this cadre of elderly women who have been widowed at least 10 years. And all of a sudden, in her backyard, they find a body. And in true Louisiana fashion, you've got swamps, you've got gators, and oh my god, the heat. This one is a series, so if you end up liking the first one, there are plenty more to keep you entertained. Next on the list of eclectic cozy mystery schemes, are you the friend that likes listening to Christmas music before anybody else even starts? Do you start thinking about putting up your tree right after Halloween? Then this series is for you. It's called the Year Round Christmas Mystery Series, and the first book is called God Rest You Murdered Gentlemen. Rudolph, New York, the town where it's always Christmas, uh, was named after someone who nobody wanted to remember, and so they decided to start saying, no, it's named after Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. This has everything in a cozy mystery that you want. Super smart protagonist, absolutely adorable small town, and a best friend who is incriminated, but the main character knows she's not responsible. So. If that one seems up your alley, this one also is a whole series by Vicki Delaney, guaranteed to entertain. And last on the list for today, we have a tattoo-inspired cozy mystery series. This one is by Karen Olson, and the first one is called The Missing Ink. This one takes place in Las Vegas, with everything that Las Vegas entails. Elvis impersonators, karaoke bars, and again, the heat. <laughs> The perhaps unfortunately named main character, Brett Kavanaugh, is a red-headed tattoo artist who moved to Vegas um, and shares a home with her brother, who is a cop. And when people start disappearing and bodies start turning up, she can't help but investigate. This one is also a series, so if you like this first one, you'll have a couple more afterwards.